Hello everybody and good day. This is Fred Wood Tech Talk and we are coming at you today with a subscriber requested video on how to group together locations in Heat Vision's IVMS 4200. They have updated the IVMS 4200 platform and it works a lot better. The version 3.7.05 edition works much better. Playback, encoding, those types of things. But when you add multiple locations to the same account, uh, they show up in one directory. And oftentimes people would want to break those up. In other words, if I'm a restaurant owner and I have four restaurants um, and I want to look at video or do playback, I don't want to have to go through one directory. I want to be able to go through by location uh, and find those cameras easy. It's not a difficult process. We're going to cover it right now. All right, what do you say? Let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, you know the drill. There is a subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Please click that and subscribe to our channel. That way you'll be notified when we upload future content. Also, like the video if it's useful to you. And as always, leave comments. A lot of these videos, including this one, are based on your questions and comments. So obviously, the first thing we are going to do is open up the IVMS 4200 app. If you have not yet downloaded this app and are not familiar with adding devices uh, to it, we have uh, made a video on that process. There's actually a link going across the top of your screen right now that will walk you through that process. Uh, for this video, we're assuming that you already have IVMS 4200 installed on your desktop. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll log into our account during that setup that we just spoke of. When you set up your account, um, you'll establish your username and password. Okay, so I will pull up this location and we'll log in. And you will see right away that we get a generic directory, right? It says 7CNOL9. Nobody knows what the heck that means. But if we hit the drop down, um, you'll see all of the cameras. I believe this client has six or seven locations and they're all put together. Okay, it does not show camera names, it doesn't show anything. So it's kind of hard. You can kind of see Bear Hill and Peabody and all that stuff, but you have no idea what you're looking at. Um, so if you wanted to look at a camera, um, you'd have to click on it, wait for it to come up, and oh yeah. That right here is exit back parking. Okay, it'd be nice to know that here, right? So what we want to do is we want to group all of these together um, by recorder or by location. The process to do that is actually pretty simple once you know what you're doing. Okay, so we're going to close out of main view, right? And we're going to come here. This is the main menu. Okay, I'll, revert, I'll refer to this as a control panel. But this red box with the four dots. Um, we are going to come over to the right right here and you see device management. Okay, we're going to click that. Over here, you'll see there is a kind of a toolbox column and one of the options is group. Okay, when you hit that, okay, up top you can say add group. Okay, we have delete group, create group by device name. Okay, and so on and so forth. We want to create group by device name, okay? Because if we go into devices, there are our, you know, one, two, three, six recorders, okay, that they've got kind of clustered together. So if I tell it we want to create a group by device name, it's going to break down each of those locations um, in my directory, and I'll be able to find them easily. So create group by device name, okay? We're going to click them all. We're going to hit OK. And now when we go to the main view, look at that, right? We see 210, we see Cross Street, so on and so forth. So if I wanted to see 240 Bear, um, now my cameras are listed. OK. And I could obviously go through each of those. If you want to expand on that, now that we've created our groups, okay, for instance, I could click on 
camera one here, and I can see this is lower lobby, but it's not showing it here in the directory. If I hit these three dots, right, I can modify camera name and I can type lower lobby. See that? And it will save it to the group, which will make it much easier during playback, right? Because we don't know what camera one and camera two is. So um, we'll do the same thing for camera two here, just so you get the hang of it. This is going to be first floor main. Okay, hit our three dots, modify, first, floor, main, right? And that makes it much easier, okay, much, much easier to navigate doing it that way. Of course, if you do playback, let's close these windows, remote playback, we will see our locations in the directory instead of that, you know, 7C NOL 9, which has everything clustered together, um, we see our different locations uh, broken up, right? And if we want to click on the one we renamed, we could easily find now the first floor, right? So if we double click on that, um, it's going to bring us uh, to the playback window. It is a little bit slow with IBMS, but eventually you'll get there. And then, of course, you can see 1159. Uh, we're playing back in the hallway. It's as simple as that. Um, hopefully the video was useful to you. We'll see you in a few.